All oh, right. I have to keep reminding myself that the American people are not so much naive as kind. And because you're fair and honest, you expect others to be fair and honest. And you have no idea how corrupt your government is. It's obvious. You have no idea how corrupt the GOP is. Right? They're not counting votes fairly. They're just not going to. Yesterday was a great, great day, people. <laughs> Yesterday was a fabulous day. Not just because the Giants beat the Patriots, as if I care. I right? <laughs> watch the game, manage to get a, watch a couple of commercials. But anyway, the idea is people woke up yesterday. Not the mass of the American people who were happy with their pan at circus. Pan at circus. Right? But the Paul people woke up yesterday because they realized that in Nevada something went wrong. <laughs> Finally, right? Now, all of a sudden, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Now, all of a sudden, people are crying foul. And the mainstream media is covering as best as they can, writing out stories about how, oh, the Paul people crashed that meeting because they were expecting that they were going to cover that and it was going to be a great cover story for showing Romney and Gingrich winning. But oops, Ron Paul won because they counted the votes in front of cameras. Oops. Um... And then the, the press in Nevada saying, oh, don't worry, there was no vote fraud, though. It was just a slow count, and it was laborious to count by hand all those ballots, and it took a long time. But don't worry, there was no vote fraud. And you know there was vote fraud, because in every other state, even with vote fraud, Ron Paul picked up huge amounts of people. Right? But not in Nevada. Right? You got, do you believe that? Have you ever, ever met a for, former Ron Paul supporter? Have you ever met somebody who's like, yeah, I used to be for Ron Paul, but now I'm for Romney. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it makes me choke. <laughs> yeah, there isn't one. Well, maybe there's one because you know there. It's a wild and diverse universe we live in. So there's infinite possibilities. There's probably one or two you could you could find. But overall, the mass, uh, you know, thousands and thousands of people, if they uh, find out about Ron Paul, they stick with Ron Paul until the end. See, and there's nothing but nothing happens, but this movement grows because his positions are wildly popular. See, for that, so that's one thing you have to believe. First, you have to believe that there's fewer Ron Paul supporters now than there were four years ago, and then you have to believe that the the drug policy of Romney and Gingrich are more popular than the drug policy of Ron Paul and his foreign policy and his unlimited right to contract and people being able to contract with one another, right? Contractual rights. So if a woman wants to contract for, you know, money in exchange for whatever she wants, uh, it should be allowed, right? <sighs> like I said, it was a great, great day because the, the, the most asleep, naive, sweet people, I mean, seriously, they are, it's just, it's just it, I get angry, but at the same time, you have to realize the reason why they're so shocked and so surprised is because they believe in the American dream, which means that they're asleep as our friend has told us more than a few times, right? Carlin's uh, stand-up made it absolutely clear that by now, if you believe in the American dream, you believe the vote's secure, and it's just conspiracy theory that, you know, they'd rig the vote, then, well, sorry for you. Yesterday was a rude awakening, wasn't it? Right? When they did the, with the count, and you, you know, you know in your heart, you know it. And there's even video, I'll put a linking video, and there'll be more videos linked of uh, people that are surprised that Gingrich won, and they're Gingrich supporters. Like, it was all Ron Paul in here, and yet Gingrich somehow won. <laughs> ah, dear. I mean, it's just it's just so ridiculous. See, they went too far, and I told you, they'd be more and more brazen. He picked up in every other state, even in the states where there's this blatant vote fraud in Iowa, New Hampshire, and Florida, and so forth, South Carolina. He still picked up huge amounts, but not in Nevada. Not in Nevada, where he was already pretty popular, and where people are being able to say, hey, wait a minute, we all voted for Ron Paul. And then all the discrepancies I see there, uh, people saying that, you know, they're, they're, they found out that they had to go back and vote because their vote wasn't counted, or there was some kind of screw-up or mix-up or whatever, right, some kind of bungling. But don't worry, there was no vote fraud. Read the, that article. There's no, don't worry, there's no vote fraud, though. Okay, well, you people need to understand now, everywhere you need to watch every precinct. I've made this clear in all my videos, right? You have to go authenticate and verify. You need to watch every single precinct. And it's good, though. People calling the Attorney General, people calling the Secretary of State, what can we do about this, right? Not just sitting on your hands like everybody else did in Iowa and New Hampshire and so forth. 
It's like you, you people are angry. Ooh, beware, right? <laughs> beware the power of angry people in large numbers, right? You got ripped off. You did. You have. You deserve to be angry, because it, it's a two-part thing, right? Your right to vote and your right to have your vote counted, and you know your your vote wasn't counted. Now, here's the thing that makes me a little testy <laughs> with the Ron Paul people, is one. I'm telling you, you need to stick around and make sure the votes were counted, and you need to make sure and demand that those votes are counted in public because every time they're counted in public, they go for Ron Paul. And the numbers are insane, right? It's 50%, 60%, 70% for Ron Paul. As soon as they count them in private, oh, Gingrich wins, oh, Santorum wins, oh, Romney wins. Hmm. And then secondly, you people that are whining about, well, he should just drop out and, and you know, run third party. Who's going to count the votes when he runs third party? The same people that are counting them now. Ugh! It's a problem that we have in the United States with vote fraud. And it's all over the place. Indiana, Ohio, it's in the news. Arizona, Pima County, right? I mean, there's all the links. Right? There was a big, big hullabaloo in Iowa about you know opening up the vote machines and finding out what was going on there. And it turned out they came preloaded. They came preloaded in Iowa, in Ohio. Story didn't make it outside of Ohio, though, did it? Florida, again, that is just rife with vote fraud. Now we know Nevada is rife with vote fraud. And what are you guys going to do about it? You need to do what they did in Indiana. There is the link. The GOP officials that are guilty of fraud need to go to jail and not go play golf, sit on the beach jail, the kind of jail that, you know, regular, the guys that they <laughs> that are in there for pot jail, uh, jail, that kind of jail. Right, and that's the other thing, right? Got a dime bag? Got a dime bag? Got a dime bag? Oops, three strikes, you're out. No more right to vote for you, black man. Right? <laughs> I think it's 13% now of the adult black male population cannot vote due to uh, various violations of most of the drug law. Right? Felon. You're a felon for three dime bags. Really? Right? You don't see the Jim Crow there? And then uh, Ron Paul is the guy that's saying that he would give amnesty and let these guys out as long as they were nonviolent criminals. And yet we have this, this painful to watch. I watched the video, you know, Obama's African Americans for Obama. Obama sick the DEA on you and stick you in jail forever for 500 bucks for the pot. You go to jail forever. And if you don't go to jail forever, when you get out, you can't vote. How's that working out for the black community? And not just the black community, Mexicans. Anybody poor right? <laughs> doesn't matter. Because you know that, you know, rich white kids get busted with a dime bag. It's not even going to be on their record. That's just how it is. Don't even, don't even, anyway, we can get into the race war thing. We don't need to get into the race war because it's a side issue. What's the main issue again? Other than the vote fraud is a pretty damn big issue. The main issue and why they're doing their best with the vote fraud to keep him out is the Federal Reserve. A private institution loans us our money at interest. Do you get it? It's a bonanza for the 1%. And look at all of our, right? And people are like, well, that's, you know, they, some people are trying to say it's conspiracy theory and this and that about the Federal Reserve and how it helps the... Look at all of our past presidents and their quotes about whoever controls money and, you know, the currency and credit, Right? is absolute master of the economy. Rothschild even said that. I don't care who makes the laws as long as you let me print the currency. Everybody, there's direct quotes. These are not, this is not conspiracy theory, right? And who's the guy talking about it? It's Ron Paul. Why do they want to keep him out at all costs, even when they have to go to blatant, <laughs> uh, and I mean blatant fraud in, uh, in the primaries here, Right? And like some of those guys, you know, and this is the thing, you Republicans, you GOP party members that are, that are participating in this, they don't care about you, right? As long as, I mean, later, this is not going to stand. A lot of you guys are going to go to jail. A lot of people are going to wind up in jail, and nobody in the GOP is going to come and defend you or help you out. As long as you do your part now, though, you're, they're happy. Right? But when later, down the road, w when this all gets sorted out and people start getting prosecuted, you know, nobody in the GOP is helping you out, right? They don't care. And see, they know that, you know, Super Bowl Sunday, the mass of the people, they don't care, right? What happened in you know, Nevada? They don't care. 
It's not a big deal, right? They they were watching the Super Bowl, and this is day old news already. By tomorrow, they're forgotten about it. Let's move on, and that's what the Paul camp does too. Ron Paul will be you know moving on because he's got other things to focus on, and I've seen this also. Ron Paul is doing his job, right? For him to cry fraud and for him to cry cry foul, they would just you know. It, it would be it, they would eviscerate him in the media, so he cannot. But he's doing his job. He's showing up. He's drawing the crowds. The crowds of people are showing up, but then they're not voting. <gasps> or are they? And their votes just aren't being counted. So what's happening is you need to understand that you need to watch every precinct, and when you show up in mass to vote for Ron Paul, you need to hang around and make sure your vote was counted. It's as simple as that. It's no longer the easy process where you just go in, cast your vote, and go home, because they won't count your vote. It has become that obvious. Ron Paul's doing his job. He's making the great speeches. He's scoring the points in the in the debates whenever they let him talk, right? People just go, oh, wait a minute, right? When they hear him talk, they're amazed, right? Because his positions are wildly popular with 70, 80 percent of the people, right? Congress, Congress, Congress. <laughs> that was a Freudian slip because it's Caligula that we've got going on. But anyway, con Congress. Uh, the 8% uh, percent or 9% percent approval rating tells you that, you know, the American people are no longer fooled. So, you need to count the votes, right? You need to demand that they're counted in public. You need to demand transparency. You need to go back, authenticate and verify. You need to figure out where you where the votes were, where you were defrauded, where the votes weren't counted, and you need to put these guys in jail. And don't say it's not possible, because there's the link to the guy in Indiana going to jail, right okay and like i said it was a great day that was a great great day they went too far the paul people have finally woken up you finally figured it out that was not a bad day that was a great day right now get out there like i said we all niggas now you got to work twice as hard to be half as good right twice as many people have to be showing up for you to get half as many votes because this whole 23 percent thing that was ridiculous too. Way, especially in Nevada, way more people than twenty-three percent of them are in favor of Ron Paul's positions and his policies and the Constitution. Right? It's as simple as that. So get out there, work ten times harder. None of this nonsense about him running as a third-party guy. Right? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But meantime, ten times harder. You guys get out there, verify, authenticate. Every single precinct, every single time. It's all it is. And, we, like I said, and we look forward to everything that's going on, but what goes on in the past, you prosecute. Right? You, you bring it out in the public, and you prosecute these guys. You don't just let it go. Right? You don't just shake your hand and shake your... Right? That's what they, they, here's what they want you to do. They want you to go home. They want you to get discouraged. Just go home. Let Romney win. This is what we want. You know, we want Romney to go up against Obama, and then he'll lose to Obama, and then you get four more years of, you know, of the same. And if by some miracle Romney should win, he's the same guy as Obama. Right? You've got your choices. you got four guys that are basically the same, three on the Republican, one guy that's sitting in the White House, and you got Ron Paul. They don't want you to choose Ron Paul. Isn't that blatantly obvious by now? Right? So you're going to go home, or you're going to work ten times harder? Choose.